This, I think, is roughly the point where the ferry terminated until uh, 1986. Um, I'm not certain though, uh, that the Hebburn side could have been the other side of that wall, of course. As far as I can tell, the uh, northern point was over there. So Carter would have left his car somewhere up the top up there, and then they got pushed into the sea, or into the river I should say. Can't eat, a car needs a wash. And I think it was somewhere down here where he came and he was trying to locate Albert. So there's a shipbuilding tradition, but not much these days to show for it. St Andrew's Church up there, built by a wealthy shipbuilder for his workers, the tallest spire in Tyneside. Houses today bear nothing to what used to be here. And the ship on the other side here. That's here, awaiting uh, destruction. It's going to be stripped. It's going to be put on in dry docks and taken to bits. And that's why it's here. But that's just about it. And all that earth on the other side is there to fill in the dry docks. Former Swan Hunter Yards over there on the other side of the building, of the river. And beyond that, it's that funny shaped building which is part of the museum for the Hadrian's uh, uh, Wall uh, Fort of uh, Wall's End, uh, Segedunum. In July 1939, questions were asked in Parliament about the pro proposed closure of this ferry here between uh, Hebben and uh, Wall's End, and uh, pointing out what difficulties it would cause for the uh, the locals, particularly about one and a half million uh, journeys were made a year uh, on it. Uh, well, it must have done some good because the uh, crossing didn't close for another 47 years. Um, today we have, of course, the Trine Tunnel and so maybe it's not so necessary any longer.